Good morning, my fellow yoga travelers. I'm mighty glad to be alive today, and I hope that you are too, as we continue to live, laugh, love, learn, linger, and live the life we love. Now, one of the things I love about Indian philosophy is it teaches you what I would call the mystical reading of the symbols. It starts off by positing the idea of Brahman, the one without a second, the one whom words cannot soil with a tongue, that which is beyond. When we say God, it kind of brings up certain images that are fixed in our mind, but sometimes they use the phrase the Godhead. What's beyond that, behind that? And when you read the symbols mystically, one of the things you learn is no one is telling you what to think, and certainly no one has the arrogance to say, oh, this is what God thinks. You're kind of left to yourself to have a direct experience of living spirit. And that, of course, is what I think of as what I call the perennial philosophy, that there's something in a human being that isn't just akin to, but is identical with living spirit. And the purpose of your life is to find that out and have conscious realization that while you're embodied. One of my teachers, Ram Dass, used to say, until you're free, whatever that means, the only thing you have to do is to work on yourself. And since there's no form to the spirit, which is the abstract, universal and invisible aspect of ourself, but more real than what we think of as the material plane reality. And when you're free, you can work with any form. And so while you're working on being free, whatever that means, work with whatever form you have. Do the best you can. And that's where you have to understand that there is po it's possible for you to be in touch with the power that's operating in your heart. No teacher can take you deeper than your heart. So many people are living inauthentic lives, doing what they're supposed to do, instead of doing what their heart tells them to. That's called the wasteland. The social order is imposed upon each of us, but if you're on somebody else's path, it's not your path. You can take clues from other people. You can carry them off what you see other people do, but you've got to make your own decisions. You have to work it out for yourself. And that's the discovery or the rediscovery of your own divine potential within your heart. I always refer to the Grail myth, which Joseph Campbell pointed out to me, that when the knights decided to go and seek the Grail uncovered, they thought it was a disgrace to go into the forest as a group. So each one entered the forest at the point that one had chosen, where there was no way or path, and it was the darkest. And so that's the idea that death is an advisor on your shoulder that never bullshits you and reminds you to quicken your life. Don't waste time. And this is what I love about yoga. Yoga plants a seed and tells you you have to work on it to nurture it. And you stay attentive to the things that are going on in your life, especially when you're working first with the body. You pay more attention to the inactive side. And you try to bring to life that which was dormant. And that takes time, which is called parinama, time for transformations to happen. And you learn very quickly, you can't push yourself because injury will happen from aggressive movements, but not from doing yoga, where you're working in harmony with yourself and learning how to balance opposites. It pushes you to aspire because it tells you right away, limited experience gives you limited knowledge. Expand your experience. And you can only do that by delving into it. But when you do, you develop a certain kind of willpower from the regularity of your discipline, and that's called sadhana. And the teacher is the one who's going to give life to the pupil, just as the pupil gives life to the teacher. The pupil gives devotion. The teacher offers substance. And then that gives the student courage, vitality, awareness, and ultimately living absorption till you become that which you are seeking. Continue whatever you're doing. Don't stop and have fun along the way.